How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Futsa Horizon 4 once again. Today I want to be taking a look at one of the other new DLC cars which has just been added as of the last update. As you know we looked at the Cobra but there's another car that I want to take a look at which is pretty insane. Now before we do so I just want to spend a minute or so just talking about my channel real quick. As you know a few days ago we hit 100,000 subscribers and I cannot thank you all enough. As I said, we're going to redo the 2000 mile world record race stream at some point, and it's going to get to the point where on my channel we're going to have to start uploading different games as well. Whether it's another racing game or just a game in general to do with cars and racing, because Forza Horizon 4 is not going to last me until the next Forza. I've got quite a few games in mind already, so I'll just let you all know. Stay tuned on the channel for some more different racing games on the channel to spice it up a little bit. Now we've hit 100,000 subscribers, it's time we start grinding even more. In the last video, I told you to comment your favourite type of cheese. And you know, I didn't know that there were so many different types of cheese. In today's video, I want you to comment your favourite vegetable. Anyway, straight into today's video, I want to have a look at this car here. The Ford Custom Double Down from 1932. And here it is, so straight into the upgrades, it's already got drag spec tyres by the looks of it and no engine swaps but you can put a huge supercharger on it to get the horsepower up to a thousand everything else is just normal apart from the horsepower which if i upgrade 1200 1200 still 1200 still 1700 1800 pretty much and there it is Surprisingly, I was surprised when I saw it at first, the Ford Double Down can get 1,805 horsepower, which puts it in easily the top five highest horsepower cars in the game. Now, I don't think it's going to beat the Cobra. It's definitely not going to beat that on the drag strip, but it does have a lot of powers behind it. My God. Oh, it's been... Oh, no! Although it has 300 horsepower more than that Cobra we showcased, this... It still feels slower, I want to say. Up to 150 miles an hour, it still seems pretty crazy. But, whoop, 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 sorry, GTR. I'm glad we're not have to engine swap it and put some stupid car sound in it. It's got its own. I think, if I remember correctly as well, this has, yeah, it's got a 9.5 litre engine. That is crazy. That's one of the highest in the game. I mean, the Bugatti Veyrons and the Chiron, they have eight litres. There's nothing here that I can even see that's an eight litre, let alone a 9.5. That's nearly a 10 litre, 1800 horsepower car. We're gonna do a sound test here, I think. Here we go. Oh, handles really well. Sounds nice, it gets the approval from me. It sounds a lot better than every other car in this game anyway. Ooh. It's still pulling as well. Oh, it's stopping at the exact same speed. Why? I think it's only fair that I take it to the drag strip to see how it pairs up against like the Cobra and the F1 GT times. If I remember correctly, here it is. If I remember correctly, F1 GT can pull them out 7 seconds, 6.9 quite easily and the new Cobra, I've seen someone get 6.5, 6.6 seconds. So if this gets into the 6 seconds then that is impressive, let's give it a shot. Manages over 200 miles an hour. That's impressive. I think it's going to be low sevens. 7.2. Okay, I'll try again. Mm. 
Right, I tried shifting badly for that one because for some reason in Forza that could make you faster. No, exactly the same speed. I think that was the same 7.3 now wow so i got a faster time with shifting badly makes sense so with a random drag tune on it, it seems to get about low seven seconds which is still honestly pretty damn good bit of air there and we're still going see if i can go down this whole hill flat out yeah that went well i would like to time the naught to 16 naught to 100 times and i'll take it to the tunnel uh, there see what it's like it seems like it pulls to 100 pretty fast but after that it slows down a bit mm, that's actually faster than I thought I mean you've got the times on screen right now see if they're any good That's it. Just pull out in front of me. Oh, I knocked that mini out. You are dead, mate. Right, we're going to uh, try the half mile, I think this is. Half mile drag? Yeah, that's it. I don't know what a normal time is for this. I'm going to guess 11 seconds. That's just a random guess. Ten. Oh! I think that was about 11 seconds in all. 10.7. That's pretty good for a half mile. I know enough to know that. Cut. You know what? For all-wheel drive drag tune, it handles pretty well. I'm quite surprised with it. I want to take a pretty cool picture, actually. Can I make a, a nice, cool picture at night? Let's try this. <laughs> That's a pretty cool photo. Looks like a beast being awoken at night. <laughs> That's pretty cool, I thought of that. You can knock down all the lampposts to make it... ...dark. Come on, you stupid thing. I want you all to know in the comment section below if you like it when I showcase cars like this. Whenever there's like a really fast car or a really interesting car that gets added. Oh, that car moved out of nowhere. Yeah, whenever there's a car like that that gets added, I always like to build it, see what it can do and just see the performance of it. And I like doing that because one, not everyone might have the car, and two, you might just like to see me drive around in nice cars. What? The barriers don't even go down. This is actually quite fun to drive off the road like this, to be honest. I like this view as well. As I said, we are going to start playing other games on this channel for sure. As I said, we are definitely going to be playing all the games on this channel at some point for sure. All the racing games, I've got several in mind already, which is going to be pretty cool. So please keep an eye out on that, and if you can think of any games to recommend to me, also let me know that as well. But anyway, ladies, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later.